Assalamualaikum and a very good night. Okay, it's been a while since I record a video for you guys. So for those who are looking for a uh, showing up compliance trading instrument, you can always go to, uh, you can always use crude palm oil or we call it CPO. Okay, so today I want to share with you guys a method that you can use on how to uh, determine how to entry and how to exit if you're trading FCPO you can also use it in uh, stock tradings um, it is a good and free technique that can be implemented by anyone okay so first of all uh, as usual we're going to use trading view as our uh, chart reference so first of all you go to cpo it doesn't matter what what type of what 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 oh, uh, time frame or what month you're using i just want to show to you how to use this indicator and how to trade okay so first of all if you are trading crude palm oil or cpo we usually don't use a big time frame if you're trading stocks you can use daily time frame but if you're using CPO, okay, let's, I, I show you first. Okay. So you go to trading view home and you just search here CPO, Code Prime All Futures. This is uh, futures derivative. Okay, and then you open the chart, you will type this. But I, uh, I usually don't recommend you to trade on big time frame if you want to trade FCPO. So this is, this is a technique that can, you can use free. You don't have to go to a paid class. You don't have to subscribe to any any channel that you request you to register or whatsoever. So first of all, you go to indicators. You just search SMART, SMART, Smart MCDX. This one, Smart Money, okay? Okay, click it and then it will go like this okay and then the second one is you just go to the indicators back and you just go looking for moving average okay and you choose moving average exponential okay you just go here let me see okay okay you just go here and you change the input to length 33 and the method EMA. Okay. So how to use this two indicator? For the while, you need to know what is what is the what is this two indicator for? Okay, if you if you go to M Smart MCDX and you go to the setting, you can see here it's shown the green one, the green bar is the retailer strength, the yellow one is the hot money strength, and the red one is the banker strength. So how can we use these three? Okay, as you see here, by by trading FCPO, you can you can choose to trade sell and buy. You have two 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 ways trading, but if you if you trade stock, you can only buy. Okay, so. If you if you like uh, to uh, take a look here, let's go to a smaller time frame. We can use like fifteen minutes. Okay, we can use fifteen minute for CPO because if we even open it one minute, we can still see the candle because FCPO is a very fast moving the uh, trading instrument. Okay, it's like forex, but this one is a share a compliance one. Okay, so how to trade? First of all, you need to take a look at the EMA thirty three line. The rule is simple: if the bar, if the candlestick is above, uh, moving average thirty three, if the is above the blue line, then it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to have a bullish trend, bullish strength. Okay. And when to enter it is, I will make it simple. So how to enter is, first of all, 
take this one as an example. You need to ensure that the candlestick uh, go above the line, blue line. And the red bar here need to be above the line, the blue line here in MDCX. So MCDX. Okay. Once both uh, requirements are fulfilled, then you can enter. Uh, because we want to enter when there is a banker strength. Uh, when there's a strength in the banker. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just twist it. Okay. So this is how we... I, it does, I, I don't even take a look at the fundamental analysis. This is purely technical analysis only. Okay, so when to enter, as I say, it, the 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 red the red the red bar here, the red candle here need to be above the blue line, and the candlestick need to be above the blue line also. And please make sure there is engulfing. Okay, always use engulfing. Okay, so there is engulfing it above the blue line, and there is this. And then you can always enter here, enter here using this candle. Okay, so when to when to stop? Usually, I advise where you want to close your position is. You need to look at the MCDX. Whenever there is a bar close under the blue line, then you can close your position. So it's somewhere around here. See, there is also the engulfing and the candle is closed down. So from there to from there to there, from there to there, quite weird. Okay. So from here, let's take here to here, we're gonna have nine sixty-nine ticks. In uh crude oil in CPO, one tick is equal to twenty-five ringgit, if I'm not mistaken. So if you already have Let's open a calculator here. Calculator. Okay. 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 If you have nine sixty nine ticks, sixty nine times twenty five, so you're gonna have one hundred seven one point seven one thousand seven hundred ringgit profit. Okay. Always refer to MCDX to enter. Okay. Let's take a look. Another one. I will be uh, I will be explaining about how to buy only in this video. Later I will show more. Okay, so let's take a look here. We have one here. Okay, but the engulfing is over here. If you enter this one, you will you will lose you will lose your money because it does go up. It only go over here until it says no 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 clear movement. And the engulfing also happened below the blue line. It shows a uh, consolidation, consolidation movement in the chart. Okay, so let's take a look where where else can we find. Okay, I think this one is quite nice. If you take a look here, okay, take a look here. We have a, a banker in a strength, banker strength here. It's quite high. And it close above the blue line here. And so let's take a look here. So we need to find engulfing above the blue line. So let's take this one. Let's take this candle as our reference. This one, right? The the red one. And where to enter? We enter when it cross cross out here. Okay. So where to exit? Mm, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow! 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 wow. Amazing. Here is the exit. Here is the exit, and the engulfing is here. The engulfing, you show engulfing first, and then a bearish engulfing. Sorry, bearish engulfing. This is bullish engulfing. So the bearish engulfing is happened here, and the price and the, the, the banker indicator only weaken over here. So the movement is, uh, let's measure it. From here to here, we have two one one tick. 
So 221 ticks is equal to how much? How much profit did we get? 211 times 25. So you have 5,200. 5,200 in 221 ticks. And how long does it take? How long did? Let's take a look from year to year. It takes um, five days. Wow. So if you're strong enough to hold until five days, then you are good to go. But always remember, if you're trading CPO, always scalping. Do not do swinging or investing because CPO is a very volatile instrument, trading instrument. Okay, so let's go again. Let's take a look here. Okay, then yes, we have one here. Okay, the bankers, the bankers indicator strength. And then we have above here. And let's take a look where the engulfing can be found. I think I want to take this one because this is the resistant candlestick. Resistant candlestick. Okay, and then the cross it goes up here and then it go all the way. But it shows here since I already have to go down. Right? You can choose to close or you can hold it. Uh but I think uh if I trade I if I take this trade I will close it because I will, I am scalping. So the profit is not not much acting P but but it's okay. You can always enter it again here. Okay, until here. If we are scalping, that's how we do it. Okay, we enter here. This is okay until here. So wait. Okay, until here. So we have fifty-eight ticks. It's quite nice. Okay, so that's about all. I think I will share with you guys in another video. I want to make uh, a short and simple video only for your for for for. I don't know, maybe it is easier to, to understand if it's short and simple, okay? So this is how you can trade CPO using free indicators on TradingView, use Smart MCDX and BMA33. Okay, that's all. If you think this video is interesting and informative, so please share with your members and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.